Hello, I'm Jesse Garcia and we are making a shot key structure for fast optical detection. To begin, let us first introduce the nature of what it is that we are trying to achieve to create a fast optical detector. Using and understanding the characteristics of a shot key structure as to other forms will help guide us to our goal. This and principles of semiconductor detectors will we have a basis to fabricate a device for optical detection. Typical semiconductor detectors have general operating principles and high importance of the semiconductor materials characteristics. The other elements that will be incorporated with our project is device fabrication, device characterization, and testing of our device, all of which will be discussed here further. Before I begin, we must understand a few things about the background of our project. First, a shot key structure is an interface of a semiconductor in a highly conductive material, typically metals, as seen here. This has various advantages that would benefit for an optical detector. When compared to a PN junction, a PN junction current is carried by minority carriers, whereas a shot key structure current is carried by majority carriers. Also, shot key structures have a lower turn on voltage compared to PN junction, which allows for faster switching. We can see this by these current voltage characteristics of a shot key structure compared to a PN junction. There are a few things that we have to understand about semiconductor detectors. Here we have a schematic diagram of a semiconductor detector. When a bias voltage is applied, the thickness of the depletion region inside the semiconductor will be increased. While the depletion region is deeper, if an incident charged particle enters the depletion region, electron hole pairs are generated and drift towards the electrodes, creating a signal. The strength of the signal will be proportional to the energy deposited in the depletion region. These are the basic operating principles of the device. Due to the nature of the detectors, the semiconductor material is of great importance because it is their unique characteristics that we are using to create the detector. Of these characteristics, the semiconductor's band gap, resistivity, signal to noise ratio, and its use for high power is often a high priority. As said in the background of semiconductor detectors, the semiconductor material that we will be using is of great importance. We chose to use gallium nitride for reasons that will be discussed. As we described earlier, the materials properties that we have high priority for are the band gap, resistivity, signal to noise ratio, and its use for high power. The importance of a wide band gap is to prevent low leakage current, which can easily happen in smaller band gaps, but mostly because anything less than a 0.14 electron volt band gap can generate thermal carriers at room temperature meaning that at room temperature the natural vibrations from heat can excite electrons and create unwanted noise and perpetuate current leakage which is not preferred gallium nitride on the other hand has a 3.42 electron volt band gap which is ideal for our detector to prevent said problems and has its direct band gap in the ultraviolet region the other properties will be assessed in device characterization once we have finished our fabrication now that we understand what it is we're going to make, we need to have a procedure to fabricate the device. Since the structures that we're creating are on a nanoscale, fabrication in any place other than clean room would prove to be quite difficult and be contaminated easily. Our procedures will be conducted similarly to integrated circuit fabrication. This incorporates photolithography and metal deposition onto a wafer, allowing us to create the necessary shot key structure for our device. Due to the nature of the clean room, we have to comply with the procedures and policies, especially gowning to prevent contamination and maintain its cleanliness that is ideal for our type of fabrication. Also, inside the clean room, we have access to the photolithography room, which houses the appropriate environment and equipment for our fabrication. Once our fabrication is done, we will have to develop the device characteristics of importance to us resistivity, current voltage characteristics, capacity voltage characteristics, and then once all this is done, we can test this for its optical detection and its performance. That is all. Thank you.